I am a resident assistant in the village in Endeavor, and I also happen to be the RA for the ZAP LLC. ZAP is short for Zimmerman Advertising Program, and LLC is short for Living Learning Community. I love acronyms, if you can't tell, you know, just lots of letters. <laughs> but basically what that means is that everyone on my floor is an advertising and business major, and that's super cool because they get special access to tutoring, they get to work on homework together and do a lot of super cool things. And that program's also the reason I came to USF because it combines the creativity with advertising and also the analytics with business. And it's such a unique program and I'm so thankful for everyone I've met through it and all the opportunities I've gotten from it. And honestly, that is how I met most of my friends because I also live on campus. Um, with the LLC and I was just able to do so much meeting new people and it's just been an amazing experience. Good morning bulls. It is so cold outside. It might as well be snowing. As a native Floridian, I feel like 38 degrees Basically, it's blizzarding outside. I think that's what this is. But Florida only has a few cold days a year, but when it does, you can get your USF hoodie on, you know, go take a walk around campus, which is what I'm doing right now. Do you hear someone announcing things off of a microphone or some trucks behind me? That's actually because I'm kind of in the middle of campus right now. Um, they're actually building a new, kind of like building college place for the Judy Genshaft Honors College, and it's super cool. Um, it's right in front of the BSN, which is the business building, which is where most of my classes are. So I'm on the side of campus a lot, but it's actually not that far of a walk from North Campus, which is where I live. I'm very excited for that building to be built. And yeah, now I'm just gonna walk towards the Marshall Center, but right now we are in Sesame's Mall. Very pretty. I love the trees here. If anyone asks why I chose USF, it might be a little bit because of the trees. Okay, I know I've said that certain locations are the prettiest parts of campus, but honestly, I take it back. This is, this is by MLK Plaza. It is so beautiful, especially when the flowers are blooming. And right now I'm walking to the Marshall Center and they have a lot of different restaurants there, such as like Chick-fil-A, Panera, Pan Express, Moe's, and a couple grab and go stations. And I go there a lot for lunch. Ooh, fountains. I get distracted really easily, but very pretty place here. And the Marshall Center also has a lot of different opportunities for students to get involved, like the Center for Leadership and Civic Engagement, Campus Activity Board, Student Government, and so many more that I would name, except it's freezing, so I'm gonna get inside. Something that's been really useful for me as a USF student living on campus is SAFE Team. So USF SAFE is super helpful if you're ever out at night and you need a ride somewhere on campus. They'll pick you up in one of these lovely golf carts and just basically get you where you need to be. Super helpful if you get the USF SAFE app and yeah. Right now I'm kind of in the science engineering part of campus. I came here once for like a calculus lecture but other than that I'm mostly on the business side but still, it's just a beautiful day and I thought I would swing by. So I'm probably gonna head back to my dorm right now, but honestly, I haven't even covered one third of campus and there's so much more that I wanna show you, but we'll save that for another time. But I've walked almost two and a half miles, so I consider that a good morning walk. And really the best part about living on campus is that all of this is in walking distance. If you're not a big walker, you know, you can take the bus, ride your bike, ride a scooter, but honestly, that is my favorite part about living on campus. Uh, take out, please. Thank yep. you. You're very welcome. Some very fluffy vegan pancakes and some syrup with peanut butter to top it off and some fruit. The hub has a lot of places to sit inside, 
and outside. Right now it's pretty early in the morning and a lot of people sleeping, so there's not so many people here. The hub has a lot of different options and so does Juniper Dining and all the other dining halls, especially if you have dietary restrictions. They have a whole station devoted to allergen free foods and then they also have a station which is vegan friendly where they don't use any animal products and they will make your food right in front of you which is super awesome. So of course we are still in a pandemic and transitioning from last year without a pandemic living on campus to this year living on campus with a pandemic, it is a little different, but I still feel that it's worth it because it's great to still be able to make connections with other students living on campus. There's still a sense of community. And although there's restrictions in place to keep everyone safe, there's still plenty of things to do. There's lots of ways to get involved, whether they are virtual or in-person socially distanced. Almost all of my friends who I've met in college, I met living on campus. And it's just a very convenient way to be close to everything you need, especially coming to college, whether it's your first, second, third, fourth, whatever year, you are so focused on your classes and just living your life and trying to be an independent human person that making friends is like so much harder because you don't have as much time, you're spending them on classes, you're trying to make food for yourself. So living on campus, having a meal plan and having your friends, whether in your room with you or next door is so, so helpful for both having a balance in your social and academic life and then also just feeling like you're a part of a community. That is the biggest thing I was looking for coming to a college was having a close-knit community of friends and I definitely was able to find it. So for me, moving on campus has been so, so worth it.